Hello, my name is Rakhi Singh. Today I am going to explain you something about machine learning. What is machine learning? What are the applications and how we can use it? So first of all, what is machine learning? So as per Wikipedia, machine learning is a branch of computer science that helps computers to learn without explicitly being programmed. Sounds like a magic? But yes, we can do it. Let's see how we in an example. In 1952, Arthur Samuel wrote a first computer learning program, a game of checkers. So how it was different from other games? It didn't knew winning or losing moves. It just knew the rules. And as it played against different human beings and computers, it stored all the moves in a database. So in order to decide which move should it take, it assessed from its database from the winning and losing moves. And gradually it became unbeatable. So that's how the machine learning works. We don't tell it that whether you should take this decision or this one. It will decide by itself by learning from the data or from the training data set. So data is a very interesting part of the machine learning. Likewise, we can create other games, other websites which can learn by itself. So where do we use machine learning? We use it in all our day-to-day -day activities. Like when you get up in the morning, check your mail. So in your mail, you have a spam filter, which will classify your mail into spam and ham. That is a machine learning application. When you search something on Google, the Google ranks the pages and show it to you. That is done through a machine learning algorithm. When you buy something from an e-commerce website, you see certain recommendations coming in the uh, web page that you should buy this or other people also have bought this item along with this one. This is coming through machine learning. Netflix uses machine learning in order to understand your likes and dislikes. If you are on a dating website, it is using machine learning in order to identify what type of people you like or what type of people you don't like. Lot of universities are using machine learning in order to select students for a particular course or for a particular certificate. Employers, they are using machine learning in order to define what type of employee they should hire, what type of people they should take and what type of people they should avoid. That is, it is being used in hiring and firing process. So machine learning algorithms are of two classes, supervised machine learning and unsupervised machine learning. And we can use any one of them according to the task. First of all, let's see what is supervised machine learning. In supervised one, we provide a supervision in the form of the data. That is, the algorithm will take the help from the data set in order to decide or in order to classify something. Let's say we have a program which will decide that which type of students should be admitted in our college and which should not be. So what we will do, we will prepare a data set, historical data from our past 10, 15, 20 years and from that data set we will prepare a training data set. So the information that what type of students are good and what are not good for our college, it will be in the data set. Now from that data set it will learn the things as we do and will apply that knowledge on a new student who is coming into our college for the admission and accordingly will decide that whether the person should be given admission or not. Another type of class of machine learning algorithms is unsupervised machine learning where we don't provide any type of supervision. So when do we need it? Let's say there is a retail store which, with billions of customers. Now they want to see what type of customers they have in their data. So might be they have some customers which are very old, some are in young, more earning, students, less earning. They want to categorize them. Now it's, it's not possible for a human mind to look at the entire data and to cluster it or to make groups. But machine learning can do it. So what it will do, it will read the entire data and it will make certain clusters from that data according to the traits of that particular data types. Another application of machine learning is in predictive modeling. So what is predictive modeling? It is to predict something after preparing a model from the data. So actually we use statistical techniques like regression analysis and these techniques are very well used in machine learning. So to understand what is a regression, let me take a simple example. Let's say you are trying to find a house. We all know that how the cost of a house will depend on the location, size of the house, society, few factors. So if I want to define the cost of a new house which we are looking for a certain location, what we can do? We can prepare a data set of the surrounding houses. Now 
on the basis of that data set i can easily predict what should be the cost of this new house this is a simple example of predictive modeling and machine learning is using this technique for predicting various things like in statistics and other domains of science so we have seen what is machine learning we understood what all type of algorithms are there now next question is how can we apply this machine learning so there are various softwares in market for applying this machine learning like we have r python we have mahout scala so all those languages and softwares are there to help us in applying machine learning over data so what we need we need a huge data set of course we cannot do machine learning on two or three months data we need huge historical data and once we have acquired data we need to clean it manipulate it once we have cleaned it we need to decide which algorithm to be used and that will be dependent on the problem so it's not like that for a particular problem i will use a particular type of algorithm i can experiment various algorithms and see which one is working best so even it becomes a question of research that which data can be classified by which algorithm or which technique is working well over which data so yes we have a long way to go in machine learning lot of research needs to be done and you will see many more videos from my side over various techniques thanks if you like the video then subscribe our youtube channel ducat india and press the bell icon for more updates